good morning guys and welcome welcome to the pretty cool vlog where we show you things that we think are pretty cool this morning we're at be our guest restaurant that's right this, this is gonna be a fast take fast take through breakfast a little something new we're gonna try so uh anyways here we go Like that, we're done with breakfast. And of course, after breakfast, we gotta get on a ride. Magic Kingdom, by the way, uh, before the park's opening. So there's like no line for Seven Dwarfs, pretty much. I mean, there's a little bit, but not much. I think we're gonna ride it. Yeah, let's go. Stormer, the storm, storm the barn. Hey, look behind us. See a little bit of Tron back there. Wave. Well, maybe not. Anyways, here we go. Man, already two epic coasters. Magic Kingdom is very magical. Very magical indeed. It's really cool. Here goes the next. Plane, not train. Planes, trains, and automobiles. Let's ride. Let's ride Dumbo. Can we ride Dumbo? Yep. Yes. Dumbo. Wow, it's so pretty out. <sighs> Ladies and gentlemen, the eighth wonder of the world. Dumbo. What a good morning so far. We've done three rides in like 30 minutes. That's pretty good. That's one of the benefits of having a uh, early morning. Breakfast reservation. Let's try Space Mountain. Okay. Let's try Space Mountain. All right, Space Mountain was a little too long. We're gonna give a give a Buzz Lightyear a shot. It says 20 minutes. We'll see. There's kind of a lot of people piling up, so that might change here momentarily. But for now, 20 minutes. Stark Man headquarters. Here we come. Lightyear, that was that was pretty fun. Jessica cheated. Now it's uh, snack time. We got our snacks. We got our snack. Singular. At the monorail station. I'm about to head back to the uh, to Epcot. Get a transportation ticket center. Ticket and transportation center. Swap monorails, head over to Epcot, the experimental prototype city of tomorrow. Because we did a little bit of the past, Magic Kingdom. Now it's time for the future. Transferring the monorail. Just like this. Welcome to Epcot. So now we're at Epcot. Me and the missus. What are we doing here today? Nothing. All right, let's go home. Okay. Okay, I guess we're not doing nothing. Check this out. Look look at Canada. Canada's got some work going on. See all those rocks up there? That's fake. It's not real. Even the pathway to the waterfall in the back is, is shut down. They're doing some major reconstruction over there. And look at this. A babbling brook. Check that out. Just a little babbling brook there. That's beautiful. Beautiful babbling brook. You know, one time we did talk about the bees in Canada. Bears, bees, beers, now babbling brooks. There may have been some other bees too. It's funny that Canada starts with a C. I should have started it with a B. This would be called Banada instead of Canada because the way is blocked. It's another bee. We're banned. Banned from Banada. All right, update. In Canada, there's a new restaurant being built. It's called Apple, Apple, Seed, Apple Seed Orchard. I think it's called Apple Seed Orchard. Pores and plates, so opening some coming soon. some date coming soon. You heard it first here on Pretty Cool Vlog. No, you didn't. Stepping over into the UK here, I think we're gonna go into this store right here. Jessica goes on in. We're gonna look at some fancy goods, lords and ladies. See what we can find in here. 
It smells fancy in here. Looks like some fancy purses, clutches, or handbags. Look at this fancy table here. As I do this nice 360, nice 360 view. Look at all those goods. Yeah. And walk down these steps to this. This is a pretty nice view out here. That's pretty nice view. You know, Epcot is pretty, pretty cool. Gotta say, as I often do, it is probably my favorite of the parks. It's so, so diverse, so many different things. It's got excitement. It's got relaxation. I mean, listen to that music. That's pretty relaxing. But anywho, hey, we stopped into Morocco just to take a look around. But look up here, you know these things? These things up there? That's like some sort of bells or something. It's the clock of Abu Anania, right? How about that? Anania Madursa. These are like chimes. I guess uh, when it rains, I guess the, the water drops off those things up top and it falls on these bells and makes, makes a bell sound, a nice little chime. Says the first thing someone should own is a home. I guess this is home. Morocco is pretty cool. And you can see here to our left, the Morocco booth for the Food and Wine Festival. Out amongst many other booths as well, this uh, mercantile shopping booth right here. And then we've got Japan coming up. So there's Japan's booth. Right across from Takumi Te, the new restaurant that uh, we probably won't be going to because it's a lot of dollars. But in any case, that was pretty cool. Japan's so cool that uh, I think we're going to stop inside and get something to eat. We're a little hungry. And now we're going to eat Japan food rice, beef, chicken, greens. Teriyaki. That was pretty yummy. Come outside. It's raining a little bit. Just barely. Just barely sprinkling. We're gonna go over to the sake bar. Get a little piece of piece of sake. Piece of sake. Get a little piece of sake. We got our sake, we got the yuzu, we got the yuzu omoi, I think that's maybe how you say it. Um, but we're just gonna share one, just got one to share, just a taste, just a little taste we're test. Going. We're gonna try this, go Was for it. Uh, citrusy something. Yeah. Oh, that tastes really good. Tastes like lemonade. Really? Like I could just drink Ooh. this. I guess yuzu is a Japanese fruit that is hard to come by or hard to get here or something because it's, a lot of times these yuzu drinks are unavailable. Because the because of the yuzu, they can't get it. But I got that yuzu. Oh man! Tastes like lemonade. That I mean, it's it's like a lemonade, but the closest thing I would say is like lemony. But it's really good. It's a lemonade. Oh, uh, snakefish bird thing. Oh, did, oh did I get it? Is it gone? It's gone. Dang! The snakefish bird thing was right there. I saw him. He was right there. I'm waiting for him to come back up. He's gonna there come, is. where is he? Oh, yep, he's right there. There he is. There you are, buddy. Oh, your glimpses. We're not getting a turkey leg, but we are at Fife and Drum. We're gonna get the frozen red stag lemonade because it is very good on a warm, bright day like this. It's gonna be quite refreshing. All right, be careful. When you get this Red Stag Lemonade, make sure and stir it up. Because that uh, if you don't, that first sip is, is quite a doozy. Oh, and all this Christmas can only mean one thing that we've stepped into. 
Germany. All the sparkly things. Man, they're so sparkly. Just like Christmas should be. Look at all this sparkle, sparkleness. Man. Man, I gotta get out of here before I get myself into a pickle. Mm. Alright, Germany, while your food is delicious and your drinks are satiating, we decided to pass this time. Looks like we may have missed the uh, musical act as well. That's okay, because there's more here than just, just Germany. It's the whole world. Mexico, oh Mexico. Wherefore art thou, Mexico? Oh man, right here, look at that. That is Mexico as you can get. Margarita jalapenos? Those are some big old jalapenos too. A little, a little scared. It smells spicy. You ready? Oh my god. It's pretty spicy. See? Is it really spicy? Yeah. Alright. <laughs> Dang! <laughs> it's like drinking a jalapeno. A spicy one. Fuego, fuego verde. Fuego verde means hot as junk. Alright guys, as we're walking up the walkway ramp to catch our monorail to our next location, that's going to be it for this one. We appreciate you coming along. We learned a lot of new things. Hot spicy drinks, the new name for Canada. So as far as we're concerned, that's pretty cool.